What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Where are the men? Women are crying because men are going their own way. I've waited for my husband for so many years, and I'm just getting mad, and I'm about to turn 40. Ooh, she looked good for 40, though. Now that men have waken up to the truth. Then one day you're just like, I don't like you no more. He could be having a good day. And I just be like, I don't like you no more. So I I, I want to leave. Just like that. Like, I want to go. I don't want to. Uh, these women always think that they can just do better. Like the universe only gives you three shots, baby girl. You don't just get good man after good man after good man after good man. After a while, you're going to be ran through like a set of stairs ran through like an escalator at the airport where these good men aren't even going to look at you anymore. Talk anymore. We have decided to walk away to prevent our lives from being destroyed. So how much did my divorce cost me? Direct costs, I lost $106,000 out of my 401k retirement plan I spent 20 years contributing to. I also lost half the equity in the home, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, cash and savings that I also spent 20 years contributing to. I also lost half of all the non-liquid assets, like furniture, household goods, electronics, cars. Keep in mind, I paid for all of these. And this is in addition to financially supporting her and her slash our daughter for 17 years, which is many hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm now broke, live in a two-bedroom apartment, and have a negative net worth for the first time since I was, I don't know, 25. Why would we continue to participate in a corrupt system? that ruins God. our lives because the wife got bored. Men have realized the risks far wow. outweigh the benefits and have chosen to go our own way. In the span of 24 hours, I had one man tell me that nobody will date a girl with a kid. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> we don't want y'all. Go back with your baby daddy. <laughs> And then I vented to another guy about the person who said that. He told me, no, that's not true. But a man doesn't want to date a girl who has slept with a lot of guys. <laughs> you see me <we're> pregnant. <laughs> oh, man, look, the consequences of my actions. Brutal. Two for two. <laughs> of one to ten, what would you rate yourself? Twelve point five. Uh, like, out of ten. Twelve point five. All right, so like, she's a troll. Like ten being her. the highest you can go, like the best it gets, and like one being like the lowest. You feel me? Like, what would you rate yourself? Twelve point five. What are you getting at? Stupid. That's cap. Rachel O'Neill, we're live in Atlanta, Georgia, and it looks like this dusty Lil Bill head look-alike is trying to roast me. Fake chain around your neck, fake ring from the cereal box, oh frosted flakes. Shame and soul guilt need to, re uh, need to be right, but she is a troll. I've seen her. She's hilarious. That's how you come in. Frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. Four seven. I could step on you your whole life. I'm, I'm six eight. No, thank you very and you're much. you're musty. Most all of right. all, you're musty. All right, He's thank musty. you. Musty. You guys can't smell it. Don't shake my. I just wasn't expecting guys to still be so immature in their 30s or be so scared of commitment mm. because now I feel like they have an extra like when they're a frat boy and they're like yeah I'm, not, I'm just trying to live my life like whatever okay that's still annoying but we get it you're 23 and you want to live life but when you're 34 when you're 35 and you're still like yeah I don't know what I want I'm like dude you're like old <laughs> we are not scared of commitment well the thing is yeah we're not scared of commitment we're just scared of committing to the wrong woman because the state doesn't reward us for divorce. They reward you guys. We have to vet the hell out of y'all. We just don't want to commit to you. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we aren't on a biological time clock like you are. Facts. No. Yeah, what was his name? Was it Albert, Albert uh, or Al Pacino? Like, had a kid at 80? 80? Bucking a 23-year-old? That's gangster. Let's take a look at why men don't want to commit to Western women. I got into a force. I hate his ass. I got now in three different countries. I cheated on everybody I went with. You wouldn't believe me if I told you that it gets even worse. Damn. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Wow. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not 
a sanctimonious thing. It is, it is pain. That's so rich coming from a straight corn star who's had her cheeks busted online hundreds of times. Shots fired! Shots fired! I just can't make this stuff up. Take her advice. Don't listen to anybody else. Paperwork. It's something, it's, it's, it's a commitment you make to someone. This is your life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? That's right, gentlemen. Marriage is just paperwork. Western women see marriage as a business deal That's crazy. that they can back out of at any time for any reason. Because right, it right. They're treating marriage like a college class. Ah, eh, I don't really like journalism 102. I'm just going to drop that class. Actually mean anything to them. It's just business as usual. Women lie much more than men. I don't think men are even witty and smart enough. Of course, they're intelligent, but the way women lie is like on another level. I am a woman and I know how much I used to lie. Now I don't because lying is like a job. So women cheat more than men? Well, I read something that I think like most women initiate divorce. Usually it's because the woman was not loyal. The 70 to 80%. First time ever since records began. 50.1% of women are childless by 30. So there are more women without children at 30 than there are women with children. The first yeah. time ever. Well, somebody clipped a part of one of my podcasts, I believe it was, where I was talking about what what our society does to 19-year-old women, or 18-year-old women, 19-year-old women. We just lie to them all the time. You know, the first lie is, there's You're nothing special. more important than your career, mm -hmm. more or less by definition. So that's the first lie. The second lie is, there will be nothing more important to you in your life than your career. So that's the second lie. And then the third lie is, there should be nothing more important in your life than the, your career. So that's the third lie. What I've seen is that as women progress towards their late 30s, no, late 20s, there's a psychological transformation. And what happens is that they place less emphasis on their career and way more emphasis particularly on having a child and that really reaches a crisis point around 29 or 30 for the vast majority of women and and their attitude flips and i've seen it flip very dramatically it's astonishing how so many women weren't able to jordan peterson super based love him see through the obvious lies of modern feminism but it's too late to save them so just invest in cat food instead i feel like if a guy is nice, that means he gets no girls, and that's like a turn off, you know? Meanwhile. Okay, I don't know who the f is secret is, but if you have a nice guy, don't f fumble them. Like, shut the f up. Appreciate him. Love him, date him. Women love toxicity. Y'all love the drama. Y'all love the up and downs. That's why the night, and I figured this out at a very early age, bro. I figured this out in like college. I was like, okay, so I figured this out in high school. Nice guys finish last. The simps, they've never finished first. You got to be rude to these girls. You got to treat them. You got to treat them bad. You got to be mean to them. You got to call them names. You got to, you know, like hate on them essentially, and they'll like you. It's so weird. You got to be rude to them, and they're like, "Oh my god, I like that." It's so weird. I think it's because they have a, a certain sense of like they want to feel accepted, and as soon as they feel accepted, they're like, "I'm done." But if they're working for that acceptance, it's good for them. Like, it's good for you to dog on them because they're like, oh, one day he'll like me. One day he'll treat me good. It's so weird. It's so childish. But I, I realized these games at an early age and I was like, play ball. Be happy. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. My name is Jubilee. I am 25 and I do have OnlyFans. How long have you been doing that? Just about like two months. What got you into it? I lost my grandpa. He's very close to me. I kind of want to go with his legacy and I kind of want to do it for What? Him. Stop the cap. She belongs to the streets. You wanted to go with his legacy? You think your dead grandpa would be happy that you're spreading your cheeks online for $4.99? What? Run that back, Turbo. His legacy, and I kind of want to do it for him. Wait a minute. You want to do OnlyFans to honor your grandfather's legacy? More Was like, he like a corn been, star or something? No, it's kind of like um, I've been wanting to kind this of... This girl's like, dressed like a chandelier. Or what is it? One of those lamps with the little thingies on it? Like keep his legacy going. That will be my back, legacy. Back, back. What? Wanting to kind of like keep his legacy going. That will be my legacy. I don't know if I just misheard you. You said that you are what? Can you can you say can it again? You, can you explain how you're honoring your grandfather's yeah, honor legacy? He was a minister. What? 
so he didn't make much money. That's like a way that I thought would help out. Wow! You said he passed away? Yeah, he passed away. But so I, help him out beyond the grave? I'm just confused. He was, you said he was a minister? Yeah, so he did like weddings, funerals, etc. Et Let me get this straight. You started an OnlyFans to pay homage to your now deceased grandfather who was a religious man and minister. That doesn't make sense. I think your grandfather, do you think he would approve of the OnlyFans? Um, do you think he would disapprove? I think he would support me, but... That's stupid! Use your common sense! <laughs> you mentioned uh, that what? you don't want to bring shame on your family. Do you think it might possibly bring shame on them to do nude stuff? What do you think? I don't think so. If I go deep down into my mom's opinion about it... Oh no! Oh no! She might be open to it. She's a really cool mom, so... Is your dad still in the picture? I've never met my dad. Never met my dad. <laughs> Shocker! That's what I always say to these OF girls. Where is your daddy at? Because if you had a dad, <laughs> you wouldn't be doing this. Oh, makes sense now. Really? Yeah, he's out of the picture. Sorry to hear that. That's okay. I don't really need a dad. I think I could handle myself. Sure. Uh, okay, moving on. You also wow, do dude. content, correct? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what to say. Honoring your grandfather's legacy by getting your cheeks busted on OF. If y'all can make this make sense, please shoot me shoot me a DM on IG. Please let me know. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> I feel like I've heard it all, man. This channel has just opened my eyes to the idiocracy of the modern woman. It absolutely blows me away that she said that with a straight face and was being 100% for real about it. I feel like I'm just honoring my grandpa's legacy um by spreading my legs to see and you know by, by making more money because he was poor <laughs> what wait 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 wait. what he was a minister and you feel like doing of is honoring his legacy your grandpa's looking down from heaven so disappointed so disappointed he's like god look at my little girl spreading her legs online Man, that's really why I, that's why I became a minister. So my my granddaughter would, you know, be an online 304. That's that's why I went and did that. That's why I suffered for so many years being broke so my granddaughter could go out there and just, you know, get her cheeks clapped on OF for $20 a month. Actually, I'm going to keep it a buck. If she started 2 months ago, she's probably doing the 499 special. And that's the thing, ladies. Here's what we need to start doing, men. If they have an OF, first of all, don't take them out on a date. But if they do have an OF, be like, hey, how much is your OnlyFans subscription, a subscription on a monthly basis? And they're like, oh, it's $10.99. Be like, that's what we're doing for dinner. We're doing something that's $10.99. Where do you want to go? McDonald's? Get you a big double. I'll get you a happy meal. I'll get you the little toy. How about that? <laughs> but we, we can't be spending all this money on these girls. If they're selling their coochie online for $10.99, then that's what you deserve on a date. If You don't even deserve a date, but... I should be able to pay you 20 bucks and, and be able to hit, you know what I'm saying? It's 10.99 online, 20 bucks in real life. Huh? Oh, a little bit of an upcharge, you know? <laughs> I'll tip. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Man, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow. Mad love. Peace.